I've always been fascinated by radios from the 1930s and 40s. In those days, even functional objects had a style and flair about them. So, I've chosen this popular Art Deco radio design to base my project on. It's called Bowl of Sunshine. Well, I've run a few pieces of different woods through the planer to get a, a, an idea of the, the colours. And just wetting the grain a little gives me a better idea of what it will look like finished. I quite like this beach for the sky, especially with this uh, patination in it. That That's looking nice. So I think we'll have this for the sky. A good contrast is the lime wood for the sun and the sunbeams. Um, that's a definite. And this Iroko. Uh, there's a, a nice darkish bit down here. I like this pattern. We're going to use this for the ground, I think, for the land. So it's going to be the Iroko, lime wood, and the beam. So those three out of this collection I think will make up our project. I tidied up a hand-drawn template on the computer and added arrows to remind me of the grain direction of both the background and the sunbeams. So I've got the block to size and I'm going to cut out the white segments which are the sky here and here. The ground comes out later on. I'm going to cut inside the dark sections which are the sunbeams and then creep up on the lines probably on the disc sander to get them spot on. And then I'll use another template to cut out the sunbeams out of the lime wood. So the blanks cut up and the sunbeam sections, S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, they're waste. So what we've now got to do is cut the sunbeam sections out of the lime wood.
When I cut into the beach, I found a reason for the grain pattern. This inclusion shouldn't be a problem, as it's where the wood will be turned away. Clamping all this lot together is going to be um, exciting. So I think what I'll do is I'll start by clamping pairs together or maybe triplets. I think that would be more manageable. Hmm, I don't know. Not sure. These are all going to start slipping about. I'm going to have to be quite uh, inventive, I think. So I'll play around and see what I come up with to get them to uh, stay where I want them to be. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. want plenty of glue in this. I don't want any voids to suddenly appear when I'm turning it down. Okay, I think those two onto that base there. I think that'll do for now. Let's see if we can get those clamped up. No, you can't get a square peg into a round hole. I'm using a brad point bit to centre the wood onto my glue chuck. The wood is only just big enough and if I'm off centre it may be too small by the time I've turned it to round.
Using a spindle roughing gouge, I round the blank. Then, using a skew as a scraper, I fine tune the sun to fit into the blank. The slot in the blank is there to act as relief so I don't split the whole thing apart when I drive the sun home. I'm gluing on a sacrificial tenon to allow me to use as much of the blank as possible.
Stanley, where are you? Stanley, where are you? I should have checked the angle on my wedgie sled. After I had cut the pieces, I found I was ever so slightly out. This is not a problem. I will just have to use a split ring method to glue it up. With just a tickle on the disc sander, both halves of the ring came together. Jobs are good and Using my lightweight Longworth style chuck on the lathe, I clamp in my ring and chuck the entire surface. When I've sanded away all the chalk, I know I have a perfectly flat surface ready for gluing. I use the same method on the blank, again to ensure I have a perfectly flat surface. This will mate with the ring perfectly. Transferring the Longworth chuck to the tailstock, I glue up both parts and bring them together. A few extra clamps won't go amiss. Well the clamps are off and I've just rounded everything over just so we can see what we've got. Just looking round on the outside I might have a bit of a problem because some of the beach here where we've got end grain is tearing out where it meets the lime wood. I suspect the lime wood being much softer is not supporting the end grain of the beach and it's just letting it rip out. So I'm going to have to be careful with that and keep an eye on it. Everywhere else where we've got side grain it's fine. It's just here where we've got the end grain of the beach and it's just the grain sort of this angle and it's just pulling it out. I'm quite happy with it. One or two things I need to keep an eye on. This 
bark inclusion here which was in the beach that's the reason why we got all this nice fancy grain I'm hoping to get through that and still keep some nice fancy grain because that's not on the back so I'm hoping to get below that but still keep a nice nice grain pattern also on the sun we've got a little bit of a gap just on that edge there but again that is not on the back so I'm hoping to be able to work below that and get to a nice joint there's only one way to find out and that's to give it a whirl <clears throat> what I've decided to do is turn the front of the bowl first as well as keeping an eye on that bark inclusion and the small gap on the sun I'm uncertain how the circle of the sun will look as I progress into the bowl I'm not sure how much it will elongate the deeper I go and I'm worried it might look a little odd so if I think the sun is starting to look a little stretched I'm going to stop and the bowl will become a plate Well, the lime wood's really ripping. Beach is fine, lime wood's a bit iffy. But we're getting through that inclusion, that bark inclusion. So I want to keep going. Um, I might not take it too deep, otherwise I'm going to elongate the sum if I put too much of a bend on it. But um, I'll keep ripping out a bit and then as I'm getting close, I'll, I'll get to the scraper, I think, and just take it easy. with that right let's address this tear out on the lime wood I think I'm gonna have to hit it with some rough sandpaper and work my way down a bit really because even the light touch with a scraper is um, is not good on that lime wood I had a real problem with the lime wood in hindsight I now realize I should have chosen different woods but with a similar density. The lime wood is so soft compared to the beach and the Oroco. It just gave me problems. Still getting the tear out so... Whoa! Well, this is going to be uh, interesting. After a lot of sanding, I coated everything in acrylic sanding sealer and let it dry really well. This was followed by a lot more sanding, working down through the grits, finally onto the very finest of the abrasive pads. I finish the inside with wood wax 22. With the bowl turned round in cold jaws, I remove the tenon and shape the base. Was it worth it? 
Oh, yes. In the making of this bowl, I learnt a lot of new techniques that will be useful in future projects. So yes, the jobs are good. Un. Do comment, like, subscribe and do please share this with your friends. If you didn't enjoy the video, why not share it with your enemies? Thanks for watching. Jobs are good. Un.